What you see, bro? Live in Israel. Okay, guys, you can see we're down at the mikvah, and we we here according to the scriptures. We didn't we didn't show you uh, the, uh, the this specific year. We've been showing you guys the feast, uh, 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 how you would keep it in Israel and out of Israel. We just showed you the the levit, how to make the proper levit, and now we got again. That's this is the real key thing about this whole holy day is the mikvah. And this whole concept here is all centered around on the last convocation, you're supposed to go and meet the Most High. You see what I'm saying? So where do you do this at the mail? You follow me? Is there a, 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 do you go to get baptized? And then where do you present yourself? See, this is where it becomes a real issue of what it calls the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And that's why the scripture makes a statement that the Feast of Unleavened Bread is a pilgrim. So you can very well work through the Passover, if you will, but the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the only way you can keep that is in the land. Because at the end of that, you have to present yourself. You see, so that's the real key in understanding what's going on here. Read that scripture, Josipa. And Hasamea, Hasamea. Hasamea. The Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come out to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you. So that's that thick cloud. And, 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 and you guys saw how the cloud came over us, and it was a thick cloud. And a lot of people reported that they saw the, the light of the Most High on us in the day that we was presenting ourselves. That was just awesome and praying before the Most High. So, the, so that's where the scripture said, go into the place where my name is there, and I, uh, the altar. I set up an altar, and there's an altar in Zion with the name of the Most High. And, and it tells us to seek his name, seek his place. Now, a lot of you say, oh, it's Zion, Zion, Zion. This is the only place you have the name of the Most High in ancient Hebrew and the altar of the Most High. Even if you want to put all that other stuff aside, they got Zion in, in New York, they got Zion in Africa, Zion in South America. But the altar of the Most High with the name is only right here in the real Mount Zion. Keep reading that, Sipa. <laughs> That, you, that the people may hear me when I, when I speak with you and believe you forever. And Moses told the words of the people of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today. So the most I told him to come, and, and, and then after this, the people are going to believe you forever. You know, it ain't going to be no more dispute. You follow me? So when the cloud of the most high came over Zion and made that L shape, what else we got to argue about at this point? You see, it was, it was a, we had a Facebook video, although Facebook took it down for whatever reason. We had a lot of people saw it. They reported on the light shining from us, which is uh, right there in Isaiah, the 60th chapter. What else we got to argue about at this point? I don't think I don't think there's nothing else to argue about other than the, other than the devil, <laughs> yeah, and 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 the, and the Satan. Keep reading. And the Lord said unto the most important people and sanctify them today and tomorrow. Today. And tomorrow, so this is where we at right now. We today and tomorrow, and we pull the calendar at this point. You see, so that's that's where we at here. The day and tomorrow. Keep going, Sheepa. Day and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and be ready against the third day. The third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all people upon Mount Sinai. You see, so that's that's what's happening here. So we here now. If you can get close to here, Pali, you can see we got today. So we here down here today. You see, this is today and tomorrow, and then on that on that third on that third day, which is where we present ourselves. The Most High is going to. This is where we present ourselves before the Most High. So all of this, all everything here now is all connected. You see, everything here is all connected. Okay, okay. Today and tomorrow. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put it. Today and tomorrow, and then here. Is where we present ourselves. You see, so all of this stuff, everything is connected here. And again, we talked about that cloud making the L shape in this calendar. We have it there where you can see it came in and made the L shape. So this, so all of this feast of unleavened bread is all centered around, and at the end of the day, it's centered around us presenting ourselves to the Most High. The religious, the, the Christians, all they're focusing on is what they call the the meal, where where they they, they do the, uh, uh, the 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 bread and the wine. Uh, uh, the communion, I think they call it, and then the, the Jewish they focus on the Passover, 
and they do the they do the unlimited bread, but at the end of the day, they don't present themselves. They just stop. They don't go to the house. They don't go to they, you know. Right now, you got a lot of Jewish here. Look, 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 right. You know, we got a lot of Jewish here, and doing their holy feast. They basically just party, you know, like like a, like a holiday because these are religions. We are commanded to keep the feast of the Most High according to the commandments. And a lot of people said to me, well, uh, and right there, you see Chief put the gloves on? You see Chief put the gloves on? Well, Chief then took the gloves off. Chief then took the gloves off this Sabbath year, and he had to keep them off for the next Sabbath years from now on. Because I now have been put, telling people about this DNA, you see, and about the DNA of the children of Israel. Chief got the gloves, Chief got the gloves off now. Chief got the gloves off. You see, and so we're telling people about this DNA. Some people say, what did they say, Chief, or that somebody, uh, they said somebody didn't clone my, my, my Facebook page and somebody uh they cloned it. Got cloned, drugged, I'm I'm drugged, you see what I'm saying? Well I I, I, I but for years somebody said I stole somebody else's work. You can, I got videos for years we talking about this DNA. I got videos for, for years we, 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 we connected myself and we identify myself. Uh, let, let me let me let me pull my license out because you because you guys got to understand that all that everything that's going on here has been going on forever but now in this sabbath year we taking off the gloves we taking off the gloves and, and uh, this is my this is this okay this this is my wallet here i'm gonna pull out this is my id my tribal id you know you know uh, 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 you know that's my identification and you can see here but this is but on my driver's license here it actually goes off into, and if you can get close there, like under base, zoom it, get close there. If you can, see, you see that word Asiatic. Mm -hmm. You see the word Asiatic, not African. Asiatic. You see, we've always identified ourselves as coming from Asia. You see, and that we came. And the scripture says clearly that our forefathers left out of the land of of, of um. Assyria, and we came into the land of Egypt. We came in 70 souls, as I keep saying, and we didn't come in black. We came in, if you want to say anything, brown or the same color as Ola. And so from that point, we mixed in with the G and, and for Priam, we actually married a daughter. Uh, 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 my father Joseph actually married uh, uh, an Egyptian woman that produced a uh, from put. Uh, we're going to we're gonna be sharing all that information that produced Ephraim or Manasseh and Ephraim. It's clear. And we had 70 souls, and when we left out of Egypt 400 years later, we, our skin complexion had completely mixed change. You see what I'm saying? And it became just like a, what you would call the, uh, the Egyptians. You see, so now at this point, there is no difference between us and the Egyptians. Because anytime you mix in, any light skin color with a dark skin color, it's gonna come out dark. You see, and that's exactly what can happen within these within these years. Every once in a while, every once in a while, like Esau and Jacob is gonna pop out. That original color of, 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 of Esau came from where we were, where we were originally uh, a, a lighter skin complexion. You see what I'm saying? So that's been it. And then even now. Uh, you have people, uh, uh, two black couples that have a, what they call a white child. So that all of that is considered, all that is connected to what's in our DNA, what's in our bloodline. You see, so I've been, I've, and I've been saying this forever, we are not Africans, we are not Hamites. The scripture says we, was, we came from Syria and we, we lived, we went down into Egypt. And we, we eventually we took over, as I said, my forefather Joseph, eventually we, we ruled in the land of Put. We ruled in Egypt. We ruled uh, in the land of, 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 of Ham. And to eventually we was taken from there uh, into slavery. You see what I'm saying? And the big problem with this whole thing is that the slave trade, and that's where Moors always make a point of identifying yourself. We continue to identify ourselves as Canaanites because we came out of the land of Canaan. You see, and that put us into the slave pack. You see, so our forefather, our forefather Joseph was carried, was carried out of the land of Canaan, and it refers to the land of the Hebrews, 
because the Hebrews were the Canaanites. It says Abraham, it told you where Abraham lived, and it told you he lived among the Canaanites, and they were, they were considered to be the Hebrews. So, so, so when you start talking about this term, Hebrew people of the cross, that was the, the Canaanites, the Egyptians, that was a religion. That wasn't a nationality. So you have ancient Egyptians, you got the Assyrians, you got a lot of people that was of the religion of the Hebrews, and that was the faith of the resurrection. That's what all of these graves and pyramids was all talking about, the resurrection, you see. But Israel, as a people, we were not Hamites, you see. And I got, and, 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 and so you have three people on the face of the earth, and you can look around. You have what you call the white people, you have what you call the black people, and you have what you call the Chinese people. Now, people that moved China out of the scenario, but they're the children of JFAT, and what was considered the white people today, which now either my brother, he's the dominant, he's, the, he's representing Shia, and then you have the Hamite brother, which everybody no ham, because he, he, he's always considered to be the people of color, black. And our people here, and the leadership here, and among our people, they've been identifying us as blacks from day one because of the connection, because, because, because the white folks or everybody else look at us as the same way as they look at everybody else in Africa. But now, finally, finally, we have a science now that, can, that, has, that has identified and has confirmed what we have been saying all along. And that is we are not Africa. We might be in Africa, ruling in Africa, but we are not the same as the children of Ham. And we are definitely not Canaanites. And we have classified ourselves, and, and, this, and what this DNA thing is all about is to reclassify us because the reparations agenda and among the people, they have classified us as Canaanites, meaning to them, we're slaves. You see what I'm saying? And even here, among the Bedouin, among, among the they still call the people in this land, the Canaanites in this land, they still call them slaves. And throughout what you call North Africa, the various different parts of the Middle East, they are still selling the people of Canaan to this day. So that's why the whole issue of slavery and reparations has been a real issue because Africans right now to this day are still selling people. They're selling Canaanites. So now the issue now is so why why should we get reparations? Because we were never Canaanites. When our father Noah the Noah cursed Canaan, not Ham, Canaan, then what ended up happening is that because, uh, because in the Bible we continue to identify ourselves in our land as Canaan. We were reclassified as Canaanites, and as a result, we were sold as Canaanites. As the Most High made a statement that if we would go down to Egypt in the book of Jeremiah, that we would end up being sold from there into the four corners of the earth. So this is the purpose of all this DNA. It's not to, it's not to mess with these brothers' minds. I've been telling people all along that the only way you're going to get to know and understand who you are is to take a DNA test. And that's the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome will let you know exactly what father and, and, and what line you come from, whether it's Shem, Ham, or JFAT. Now, a lot of my Canaanite brothers, because you know this on my Facebook page, as long as I was talking about the Egyptians and, uh, and R1B1A, there was, no, there was no argument. But the moment I put up R1B1B, all of the Canaanite brothers can jump out on me because the Canaanite agenda has been calling this land Northeast Africa. They have been identifying this land as Northeast Africa. See, when you go back into the scriptures, you will see that Jehoshaphat, Jehazi, Joachim, he went up during the, when the king of Egypt, Josie, he went out against the king of Egypt that was crossing the land of Israel to go and fight the king of Babylon. And he said that the Most High told him to do this, which according to uh, which according to scriptures, he did. But why did he dress up? Why did he go out against them? Because he didn't want Egypt to be claiming this as Northeast Africa. See, our land was always considered to be Middle Earth, and it's, it's between, it, it, was, it was between the Babylonian Empire and, this, and, and the Egyptian Empire. 
and we was constantly struggling and moving backwards and forwards between the allegiance between these two kingdoms. So our kingdom, so today, when our Edomite brothers took over, they, can, they, they made it clear that everybody understood that this was the Middle East and this was not Africa, nor was this Asia, but this was the Middle East. This was a whole area governed within itself. You see what I'm saying? So, but, but, our, but our Hamite brothers have been identifying this as Northeast Africa. And everybody else that's connected with this Hamite agenda has been considered this as Africa. You see, so we are not Africans. We never was Africans. And, we, and, 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 and the Most High gave us this land from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates, and we rule within that area. But you got, but, but among you, you have Canaanite leadership. You see, among the Edomites, they got Edomites leadership leading among the children of Shem. And you got the Canaanite leadership leading among the Egyptians or the so-called blacks. We are not used to looking at, although the Europeans, they're used to looking at the different tribes and different nationalities and different places. But us in America, we see each other all as black. Now in Africa, you go back, you'll see there's a tribalism there because they know who they are. They know what tribe they are and they know the history, you see. So the point is now, I keep telling everybody, you need to take a DNA test to confirm who you truly are. Who you truly are. And that's the only way at this point you're going to be able to discern yourself of different from between the Egyptians and between the, uh, are you an Israelite, Egyptian, but more importantly, are you a Canaanite? You know what I'm saying? So, but, but most of the Canaanites, they know who they are because they fight me like cats and dogs, the leadership. They fight me like cats and dogs. We used to call them dirty moors. You follow me? And you will see pictures with them. Uh, uh, these dirty moors, these Canaanites, uh, uh, with, uh, with the Edomites, selling us, uh, selling our brothers into slavery. You know I mean? So, 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 all of this stuff is, but now is, is beginning now to make a little sense of the Moorish American community and why we never identified ourselves as Africans. And we're gonna go off into, we're gonna do a special live, a special video. Uh, well, we might make a Shabbat video out. Where I'm gonna go off into my uncle where he talks about why was Malcolm really killed. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and, that, and one of that, because Malcolm X was the one that actually uh, came and started identifying us, us with, with what is called uh, conventional Islam. And, and our Moorish form of Islam, we never dealt with that. And, but also, he started identifying us as Africans. And we never identified ourselves as Africans, but we always identified ourselves as Asians. And now, for the first time in history. And, that, and in your lifetime, DNA has proven that. And we're gonna share also a picture of, of, uh, of, of Nova Juwali making news, a portion of, of making the news, telling people that we are not African, but Asian. And we're gonna make, and we're gonna share all this information. And this is what you see for, live in Israel. Walla walla.